Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. And as always, I wanna thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let me apologize right now because when I finished my show tonight, I did not do the shout out to the channel members. I did not do that video because it takes about three minutes and things to get done. I apologize. I got some new members that came on tonight. I got a lot of super chats and stuff. And if I missed you, I apologize. I didn't mean to miss you. Um, but I had my wife calling me because my wife is doing this app, Noom. And it's about getting your body right, losing weight and everything else, and I'm doing it with her. This mother humping app has got us walking. Not just walking, but every day it adds on like 300 steps. Now, I do a lot of walking as it is. I usually get anywhere from five to 10,000 steps a day walking, just doing my regular job. And so my wife is getting up in the morning and she's doing like three mile walks. Well, today it was like 97, 98 degrees. In fact, it's still 91. Why I got a fire, I don't know. But today it was so hot, she was like, you know, and I got home late because it's been a long day. I got up this morning, I worked on the tile work. I've been so busy that I haven't been able to actually upload this bathroom job that I'm doing and the tile work is, oh my God, it's looking good. It's looking really good. But I had to do that, then I had to go to this other house where they get HVAC unit put in, but the problem is it's a condo and the condo upstairs, the condensation line never hooked up to a drain. So it literally dumped down into around this one. And until they moved the unit, they didn't find out that there's mold. So there's all kinds of mold. So I was dealing with that. Then I got stuck in traffic. So I didn't get home till like six o'clock. And then we had to go to Target and get uh, prescriptions filled. So it's been literally running around all day. And my wife said, I'm about 3,500 steps short, which is about a mile and a half. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, I don't have time before my show. We'll do it after my show, but it's got to be done before midnight. So we went into overtime. Law Nation was the house. Shout out to Law Nation because you are listening to nothing but the best. Law Nation joined in and everything else, and we were going through and all that. And my wife's like, uh, honey, honey, we got to get these steps. We got to get these steps. I was like, oh, damn. So I was like, I got to close out law. Thanks for being here. Got to go. So I apologize for not getting that done. But I got 14,000 steps in. And here it is. We're on the trail. And we're pumping it because we don't have the dogs. The dogs ain't stopping the poop and all that stuff. We don't have the dogs. We're trying to get this thing done. She's like, I need my 3,500 steps or 3,000 steps, however it was. And so we know, I know exactly where that has to go to get that and turn around. And we're pumping it, you know, okay, we're trying to get this because I'm like, I, I got to turn off my equipment down there. I got my fireside chat to do to my fans and stuff. I want to get home and I'm tired and I'd already taken a shower and you can see I'm soaking wet. And she says, let's run. Run? I was like, what? Is Jason out here chasing us? She takes off. And I'm like, I ain't running years with this badass knee. And I tried. And it, it, it looks like I'm running with a flat tire, okay? But, but I was running. Ran for a good 100 yards, and that's about it. So shout out to running. So, back to the show tonight. I had a person that I finally got to my breaking point. I've listened to so many people that have been telling me for, I mean, remember it was like Randy Marsh was one of these people that were in here who was saying, I, I ended up blocking him because he was in here saying, oh, the coronavirus is fake. First of all, he's got the picture of, of Kim Jong-un, okay, it's, it's his profile picture. So, okay, kind of crazy to begin with. But he's up in here saying, oh, this coronavirus, it's fake. It's not real. And besides, he's like, you know, if you're a young person, you get it. It's just a cold. And only 1% of the people die from it. Well, if 1% of the people, you know, die from it, it's about 33 million people, I think. So we've got 330 million people in our country. Oh, no, no I'm sorry. That's 3.3 .3 million. 
that's a lot of people. It's a lot of people that I want to see die. And I have people that I know that are sick with it. I have people that I know have died with it. So for me, it's not a joke. And the way this thing's growing, and the way it's kind of screwed up the economy and everything else, and the way I always come out here every night because I realize at 54, soon to be 55 years of age, that I have more days behind me than I have in front of me. That I don't have time to waste. I want to enjoy the time that I have left. And so I'm just tired of dealing with idiots. I'm tired of trying to convince people who it doesn't matter what you're going to say. I'm tired of people who just hate because that's all they know how to do. I don't want those people in my life anymore. I'm not going to waste my time and my precious life dealing with them. And I let people know tonight on my live stream, listen, you are free to like whatever you like. You are free to believe whatever you want to believe. And I am free to believe that I don't want to hear your garbage. And I don't have to accept it. I had people telling me tonight, oh man, you must be drunk. I ain't drunk. I had one shot. One shot for the whole night. Had another mother humper come in here saying I'm on drugs. Now see, I, I'm not putting up with this shit anymore. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. I don't have to do it. This is my house. And you are a guest in my house. If you want to be a jackass, be a jackass in somebody else's house. But I'm sick and tired of people who call themselves Dallas Cowboys. I, I can understand if you have an opinion, if you believe that there are things that Dak Prescott doesn't do well and things like that. I, I understand that. I got no problem with that. But when I hear blind hate, that's just blind hate, like Dak Prescott done stole something from you. He done took your wife. Okay? He done taken your daughter. He done taken something that belongs to you. When I hear people with that kind of hate, I ain't got time for it. I'm not going to put up with it. And here's the thing that I don't understand. This right here, the star. This star is what it's supposed to be about. This star, which started out in 1960, this star, which is the silver, or I guess, I don't know, 60, I don't know what color that is, but the 60 year, they're going to be wearing the 60 year patch for the Dallas Cowboys. This star represents all of those who've ever played with the Dallas Cowboys, the Bob Lillies, the Roger Staubachs, the Craig Mortons, the uh, Dandy Don Meredith, the Randy Whites, the Ed Tall Jones, the Emmett Smiths, the Troy Aikmans, the Charles Haley's, even the Quincy Carters. It shouldn't matter who is wearing that star. The only thing that should matter is is that you are rooting for that star to succeed. But in my mind, I feel like there's so many people who are so-called Dallas Cowboy fans that are hoping and praying that Dak Prescott fails. You know, I was never a big fan of Jason Garrett. I never believed that Jason Garrett was the guy that was going to win us the Super Bowl. I just didn't think he had it in him. I think he's a nice guy. He's really smart. But that doesn't mean that you can coach men to succeed in football. I didn't believe he could do it, but I put my support behind him. I didn't have blind hate. I criticize, which is okay. When you see him do something wrong, you say, hey, we got to do better than this. This is not it. But it was no blind hate. And I'm done with hatred. I'm done with it. Life is too short to waste it. So for however long I have left, be it one night, one week, one year, 10 years, 40 years, however long it may be, I'm going to make sure 
that I do the best that I can and that I'm going to enjoy it and I'm not going to waste my time. That's it in a nutshell. And with that being said, this day is now over. I can't get it back. It's done. It's in the books. And that means I'm one day closer to my end. But you know what? I feel good about the day that I had. Please, be safe out there. Do me a favor. Wear that mask. Keep your distance. I want you guys in here. I want you guys healthy and I want you safe. All right. It's time for this old man to take these dead bones to bed. Peace out and I love all y'all. Another one in the books. <laughs>